So here's what's happening. I just released my video on the Oculus Quest hand tracking update. And instantly I got a bunch of comments telling me that you guys haven't gotten the update yet. And I don't think that's very fair, but that's just the way Oculus is doing it. They're putting out the update on a rolling basis. I don't even know how that works or why it works. But if you're like me, I didn't get the update either. And I wasn't going to wait. So I scoured the internet. I don't even know if that's a word, but I'm pretty sure it is. And I found the update zip. The zip that allows you to manually update the quest. Now, every one of your updates is a zip. This is the official update. This is just the manual way of doing it. If you ask me, it's perfectly safe. If you've ever manually updated an Android phone, this is the exact same thing because the Quest is in fact running Android. So in fact, you may, so in fact, you may already have some of these things if you've ever done any modification to an Android phone. You need ADB and you need the zip. You need two things, it's that simple. So let's begin. So first of all, grab your quest. Um, I don't even know if the lighting is correct at this moment in time. I'm going to go check that. I don't know if that lighting is correct, but we're going to go with it. Um, so here's what you do. First of all, you need to download all the files. I'm going to have in the description, two files, the ADB folder and your zip. So before you actually update to this zip, you need to be on the latest firmware released by Oculus. I'm going to have the entire name of the firmware up here, up above my head. So check that you have that before you update to this one, because this is just an incremental update. It's not a full update, which means you first have to do a full update and then you update to this. The full update you should have already gotten and you're probably already on it, but just in case you're not, make sure. So, so you grab your quest. Now that you have those files, this is going to be really easy. You guys are gonna be surprised. Um, so what you do is every Android device has a recovery mode. Um, most of you that have modded Androids or anything along those lines probably know about that. So what you want to do is you want to boot your quest into recovery mode. Now this is super simple. The way you do it is you power it off and while you're powering it back on, you hold the volume up and power button. Now I'm going to walk over there. I'm going to show that to you guys. I'm going to show you what shows up, but I need to unplug the microphone for that to happen. Right now I'm going to hold the power and the volume up button at the same time. See, there you go. Now the Quest is in USB update mode. So what you want to do when you're in USB update mode, you want to use your volume buttons here to select enable side loading update. When you select that, you want to connect your Quest to your computer. So we're gonna to move to my computer right now. So what you want to do now is you want to grab just a standard USB-C to USB cable, uh, make sure it does data, and you want to press Windows and R. And now when you have Windows and R pressed, you want to type in CMD, as you can see I already have it there. You want to type CD and move that ADB folder that you downloaded from my download section into there. And now the way you make sure that everything is done correctly is you type in ADB. If this happens, that means you have successfully done that step and you're ready to move on. So my quest isn't actually plugged in my computer right now. But if you typed in ADB devices, it should technically show your quest as being in sideload mode right here. But it's not going to show mine because mine isn't there. So what you want to do, once you have your quest connected, you want to type ADB, sideload, and you want to grab that zip with that update and drag it in to here, right? Just like that. And you want to press enter. And it's going to start working the update, sending it to the quest. Now, please do not unplug the quest while you're doing this. Technically, as I said, there is no danger. You can always go back um, with side loading. If you have a side loading feature, all the updates, I have all the zips. So if your quest does get bricked, I can send you the zip, um, but please don't just in case. Um, technically, as I said, I think personally, this is completely safe, but if you do something stupid, like unplug your quest mid update, that's on you. So please don't do that. So um, I have some video clips from when I was updating. This is what you're going to see. The following thing that is on screen right now is what you're going to see when your quest starts updating. This is what the command prompt will look like. You'll get a little percentage showing you how much percent has been side loaded. And then finally, when that's done, your quest will reboot itself and you're going to see this screen inside the quest. Let that progress bar complete. 
Once that progress bar completes, your quest will boot up completely normally and you're going to get an update in controllers because your controllers will then start updating because this update comes with the controller update. So then once your controllers update, uh, you're going to go into the settings and you're actually going to notice that the hand tracking isn't there. Now, at this point in time, I'd go into the um, I'd go into the info and make sure that you're on update 12 because that's the update you should be on. And once you know for sure, for certain, that you're on update 12, what I would do is go into the experimental features and check if the hand tracking is there. If it is, great. If it's not, don't panic. Super easy fix. What you do is you just restart the headset. Once it's restarted, connect it to Wi-Fi. That's it. You should have the hand tracking there and we should be ready to go. And now we can create an army to train the neural networks of Facebook's hand tracking. And hopefully we're going to get what we want, which is full-blown hand tracking on the quest. So that's it, guys. That's how simple it is. This is not some magical... <sighs> This is not some magical procedure in, that you need to be scared of. Manually updating the quest is super easy. I don't know if that lighting's correct, but we're gonna, I don't know if that lighting's... Downloads? I don't even know if that's pointing the right way now. It's not. Uh, we're not streaming to Twitch. Not that I know of, anyway. <laughs> 